Hey guys, it's Dana and it's time to talk about money. And in this video, I wanted to talk about how to live on less and save money. Okay, so a while ago, over a year, I think it now maybe, or more, there was a tag going around with seven questions in it. And I haven't done a tag in years and years and years. So these are just videos where, you know, there's the same questions, different YouTubers answer them. So seven questions talking about money. So I thought I would go through and do them. Just something a little bit different on my channel. All right, but something similar, right? Okay. All right, so question number one is, what are the most important frugal things you do every day to save money? Okay, there's a lot of frugal things every day. I am definitely a frugal person, so is my husband. But um, packing lunches, I think a lot of people know about that. That's a pretty simple one. We pack the kids' lunches. We have four kids and our own lunches. My husband and I both work full-time outside the home. Every single day, we pack our lunch for ourselves and the kids. Also, we drink water. We don't buy sodas. Sodas is are not allowed in the house. We don't even allow it in the house. No sodas, only water. Um, the kids do like to drink V8 juice. Luckily, we got them started on it young and they like to drink V8 juice. <laughs> so it helps to get some of their veggies in. So they do drink that um, in addition to water. Also, cutting back on activities, okay? This is something that I think is important. Our kids, we have four kids. Each child does one activity. And um, if you have kids and they're school-aged, then you might be dealing with this where a lot of kids are in so many activities, which is wonderful. If it's in your budget, um, that's fantastic. But if you're trying to save money, think about really cutting back on those activities to just one, right? Just one activity that'll help them as far as health-wise and socially to make friends. Um, but don't do too many because they they add up. They might not seem too expensive, that one activity, but if you add up the cost of, you know, if they have to buy, you know, things for recitals or you have to, you know, there's always little extra costs here and there. You have to help out in the snack bar and, you know, buy so many raffle tickets for certain things. Um, so just be careful of the number of activities. And then lastly, every day what we do um, is I use up the end of every single shampoo bottle, soap bottle. I add water to it, shake it up. I make sure we use our products to the bitter end. Question two, what are your best strategies for saving on utilities? Okay, so programmable thermostats, I think are really great if you can get one, get it installed. Um, they're not too expensive and you can program when, you know, if you're not in the house during the day, if you're at work and the kids are at school, you can lower your heat and then you can have it kind of kick back on before you're gonna get home. And then that will save you a lot of money. Also, you can use a low pressure shower head to reduce your water flow in the shower. Again, if you have children and they're standing in the shower for a long amount of time, it'll cut down on your water bill if you sort of trick it so that they aren't getting as much water flowing out of that shower head um, as they are shower, or you as an adult. Lots of adults take really long showers. Also make sure that you don't have water being wasted in your toilet, say. Like if you can hear the toilet running, maybe you need to go in and replace the inner parts inside. What's, what are those things called? You know, the, the float, you know, <laughs> um, which I've replaced, but I can't think of the name, the official name, but make sure that you have everything in there in working order because if your toilet is kind of running or if you have a leaky faucet, that drip, 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 like those things, they, they're gonna make your water bill go up. So make sure that you are being a fit, as efficient as possible in your home as you can, um, wherever you can, right? Okay. Number three, what is your best tip on food and household products? Okay, um, not eating out, right? So don't go to restaurants. Uh, I would say that is my best tip for food. And empty your pantry, all right, weekly. We eat everything we buy, really, in the week. So our refrigerator is pretty much empty by Saturday morning, my husband does the grocery shopping on Sunday, and so the refrigerator is it's empty and the pantry is pretty empty as well. But that way we know that everything we're buying, we're actually eating, we're not wasting money. 
And I think um, bulk buying, a lot of people do monthly grocery shopping or they buy in bulk, which is okay, you know, but then sometimes you might have a lot of cans or things that you, or things spoil and go bad because you bought so much of it and you decided, Ugh, I'm sick of it. I don't like it anymore. I don't like it at all. And then you don't eat it. And then you've just wasted all that food, uh, wasted the money that you didn't have to spend on that food because you didn't even end up eating it. So we empty out our refrigerator, empty out our pantry. Um, and it's funny because the kids or if my sister's visiting, you know, Friday night, Saturday morning-ish, they're like, oh, there's no food here. <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> we have no food. And, you know, we're really scrounging to eat up all the last, you know, they were just eating up. I mean, there's always food to eat. That's what I would say. There's definitely something you can eat. But for the most part, you know, it's we're down. If you open the fridge, it's pretty empty. And then for household products, uh, like I said, use up things is to the bottom. And then unpaper towels. So, okay, we use cloth towels instead of paper towels, cloth napkins. What is your best tip to save on clothes? Um, hmm. So we shop at Goodwill. That's where, and I, I, um, I, this is a free shirt that I got from a race I ran a 5K. Um, so yeah. Um, so I would say <laughs> don't, I don't shop often for clothes, really, like never. Like I saw a picture of myself wearing a shirt that I still have in my closet um, when I was dating my husband before we were married. I said, wow, I just wore that shirt last week and I was wearing it 15 years ago, um, which is a little excessive. Okay, that's a little bit much, but um, I probably could use some new clothes. But be careful how often you're shopping. Do you really need a new t-shirt, you know, unless it's free. Like, do you really, you know, do you really need it? And then uh, just be careful. That's my best tip is to really evaluate, you know, the, the clothes you have and then um, where you're shopping if you're trying to save money, right? There's a whole great thing about minimalism where you're trying, you know, trying to, to decrease the number of um, clothing articles that you have in your closet. Um, I can't think of it now to like 30 or something. There's some whole program about that, like where you can, you know, try to cut back on everything you have. Because really, if you have some basics, that's all you need, right? I mean, unless, you, I mean, you're going to do laundry once a month. Like, If you do laundry every week, like you should to cut down on the smell in your house, then um, really, there's only so many outfits you need in a week. And um, I don't know, maybe my coworkers are sick of seeing me in the exact same outfits every week. What's your best strategy to stay out of debt or to pay it down? All right, so here on my channel, you know, I talk a lot about getting out of debt. It's pretty important to me. I really feel passionately about debt making you a slave and the feelings that it causes and the freedom it steals from you. So we follow the Dave Ramsey baby steps. I do believe that is the best plan to pay down debt. So if you haven't heard of Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps, then definitely look into it. I think that's the best plan way to pay down debt. But overall is to obviously stop buy, stop borrowing money. Just stop borrowing money, right? You're never going to get out of debt if you continue to borrow money. So if, if you just do that, then it'll help you because if you're paying the minimum payments, obviously it's going to take a long time. But if you commit to never borrowing any more money, eventually you would get there to be out of debt, right? So just do not borrow any more money for anything. That means cars, student loans, furniture, like really commit to stop so that you can get out of debt and uh, break those chains. Share one thing you do to save money that other people don't know. Um, hmm. Well, I have shared before that I use reusable feminine hygiene products and that does save us a lot of money. So something people, that's, most people don't know that in general life. It's not something I talk about, but it saves women, it saves you a lot of money, ladies, if you use reusable feminine hygiene products. Um, uh, yeah, so what else though? The other thing is that I really don't go on social media and I think that that saves a lot of money. I think people would be surprised by that considering that I am a YouTuber, but I have not been going on social media hardly at all the past two, three years maybe. Um, I, I've even gotten really bad about Facebook. I don't, I just kind of been so bad with Facebook. 
Uh, but if you don't look at social media as much, it'll help you save money because you're not comparing yourself to other people. When you are looking at Instagram and you are looking at everybody's vacation photos or you know their brand new whatever shirts, you know when people love to post their highlight reel on Instagram, right? So you're seeing all these pictures of their fabulous life as they are showing it to you. Of course, everybody has the, the bad part of their lives, which they do not share on Instagram generally. But so if you're looking at a lot of pictures on social media, it's gonna make you feel that sense of comparison. And maybe you're gonna start buying things that you wouldn't otherwise buy because you are seeing others, you know, others with, oh, they have, look at that amazing, LL bean bag that they got. I just have to have it. Oh my gosh, I need that LL bean bag in my life, right? So, um, and it's going to make you maybe buy it when maybe you wouldn't have otherwise. So stay off social media. That's something I do. And it does help a lot to not compare to others. Yes, it's true. I don't keep up then with others that, you know, so, but I don't always see what's going on in their lives, maybe because I'm not on social media as, as often, but I think I'm more content Definitely more content when I'm not comparing myself as much. And I think we save. We do save because I just don't. We're just doing our thing, right? Doing our thing. And I don't have to compare or worry about what we're not. The, vaca the vacations that we're not taking, right? Like, oh, they're in Disney World and we're not. All right. That's enough about that. You get it. Okay. So the last question is, how important is it for you to save money? Hmm. Um, saving money in your savings account or saving money just like in general, like I got a coupon on that. So in getting a coupon on that kind of saving, it's really important just because we work hard for our money. We, I really feel like we work really hard and I don't want to overspend for things. I'm more than willing to pay extra money on things of quality that are gonna last a long time that I think are important, like a brand new sump pump I just put in the basement. I got the best sump pump that I could buy. I did use a coupon though with the plumber to get the price down for the installation. But I, I wanna, you know, in that case, you know, it's like, I want the best quality for the best price. And it's important because, I mean, I wanna be responsible with our money and we work really hard for it and I don't wanna just be throwing it away, you know, overspending on things. So that would be like, that's why that's important for me to save money in that regard. And then say in our savings account to build money for an emergency fund and build up money um, in that way or retirement savings, that's really important to me because I don't ever wanna be a burden to my children, right? We have four kids and I don't wanna be a burden to them. I want to be able to make sure that no matter what, I'll be able to take care of myself, you know, into my 90s if, you know, God willing, I live that long. I want to be able to have money there to also help our kids to go to college and so, and to give, you know, give to our church, give to charities if I want to. That's why saving money is important um, to me, uh, just also in case we have emergencies, I don't want to be stressed out. I want to be able to pay for things when we need to pay for them, like a new roof or whatever. Um, so it's it's really important. It just means um, a sense of peace when you have savings, right? If you have savings, then you can have more options in your life, which is what I always say is very important to me is to have have the choice. I want to have choices. And if you don't have any money saved, then you don't have any choices. You have to go to work and you have to maybe take the first job you can take because you need to pay a bill and you don't have any money and you have to pay, you know, put food on the table for your kids to eat. You just really, you don't have as many choices, right? So that's why uh, it's so important. So for, you know, to be able to take care of myself, not be a burden to the kids, and then also to have options, choices, and to be able to give to uh, whatever charity or wherever I want to give to help out others. So um, because it's wonderful, it's a wonderful feeling to be able to give to others where you want to so you can help, right? But if you're broke, you can't help others. You just can't, you can't give, you can't, you can't be there. You can't be a blessing to others if you are yourself not in the financial position to do so. Okay. All right. So that was the seven questions. Um, of course, my battery light is flashing now. Typical, typical me. So then, uh, yeah, I guess I have to wrap up this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. It was your first time seeing me. I'm here every single Tuesday talking all about money and we're a family of six living in the Philadelphia area. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.